Today I'm going over some paint repair for small scratches and nicks around the truck. I'm using a Duplicolor Scratch Fix All-in-One. Uh, this is matched to the color of the truck, Super White 2. This pen is meant to be an all-in-one paint repair, so you got your fiberglass tip up here to smooth out, agitate the surface a little bit, and uh, get rust out of the way. Once you take this off, you've got your fine point paint repair right here. And you unscrew right here. You've got a tapered brush to be able to use to dab on paint to bigger spots. And then after you've let it dry for 30 minutes, you open it up and you've got a clear coat brush right here. I'm going to show up here on a few spots, a few of the bigger ones I've got. This is one of them right here. Then I've got one right here, and I'll get a couple of these small dots. And then these few right here. You probably can't see it that well with the lighting of the camera, but these three right here are spots that I repaired all last night. This repair is a little bit brighter than the actual paint of the truck right now because the paint on the truck is 17 years old and it's been outside pretty much its whole life. Uh, but you can see a couple of these spots right here. Here's another repair I did on a scratch right here. There's one right here. Another one right here. And then I did a few here on the hood. Unless you spend a lot of time with it, you're probably still going to see the difference in the height of the paint. It might bubble up or be a little bit lower than the paint around it. And the clear gives this coat a little bit of extra shine. I think that this pen will be most effective on cars with newer paint or that have a shine to it to kind of match. So this clear coat really does give it a shine. My main goal with spots like this though is to stop rust from continuing on the truck. The only other thing you need that I would recommend is a bottle of alcohol and some, and some type of towel to apply it. And then use the fiberglass tip to scrub out some of this rust. And you want to make sure definitely to get on the rust spots but go a little bit on the outside too to smooth out and level out some of the edges of the paint. Wipe that down. With this one, I'm going to use the brush that's on here. Watch for any drips as you're applying it. Also know that it tends to dry kind of quick, so if you're not careful, it'll, it'll get some little strings that come off of it. This one's pretty deep, so I'm trying to build up the paint just a little bit. All right, and there we go. I'm gonna let that dry for 30 minutes. And like I said, it's not gonna be a completely smooth finish, but it hides the scratch pretty well. This has a little spring in it that when, it, when it's pushed in, it releases a tiny little bit of paint. So be really careful, because you'll kind of have one little glob to build up with. If you can see that spot right there, I'm probably gonna try to glob a little bit on this one and then use extra just to tap onto this one without triggering that extra paint release. If you're really ambitious, you can do big spots like this. This is a really big scratch on the tailgate. You might be able to see, I did a little repair spot right there. I didn't clear coat it, just put some paint on it. Um, so here's before, now here's a view of the after. All of this right here and this right here was repaired. All right, and it has been 30 minutes, so we're on to the last step, which is applying the clear coat. This one you do want to brush on, while the other one's just kind of like a dab. Here's a look at it from about a foot back. Uh, the clear coat hasn't, hasn't dried yet, but it's kind of blended in. It's, it's kind of hard to see, which is exactly what I'm looking for. But the main thing is that it stopped the rust. So there's that spot. And then here's our other spot repaired right here. You can barely tell it was over there. A bunch of places sell these pins. I got this one from Advanced because after pricing it at Rock Auto, it was about the same price once you factored in shipping. But a lot of other places carry it. Make sure to get your color code to find that, most of the time it's going to be in your driver door, either a sticker right here, or in my case, right here. Uh, it'll either say color, or mine says C right here, and it's 040, that's the color code. 